An ancient lost Maya city named Valeriano was just revealed beneath Mexico's jungle, and what was found inside was amazing. How cutting-edge technology unveiled Valeriano. Imagine a jungle so dense, it hides an entire ancient city in plain sight. That's exactly what happened in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where archaeologists recently uncovered the lost Maya city of Valeriano. But they didn't stumble upon it with a shovel. They found it using LiDAR, a laser-based technology that scans the landscape from the air. It cuts through thick forest canopies and reveals what lies beneath. And what they found was astonishing. A sprawling metropolis, completely swallowed by nature for over a thousand years. The lost city of Valeriana is absolutely massive. Once revealed, Valeriana turned out to be massive, stretching across 47 square miles. That's roughly the size of San Francisco. More than 6,000 structures emerged from the scan, towering temple pyramids, public plazas, ball courts, roads, and even a huge reservoir. This wasn't a minor outpost. Valeriana was a full-blown Maya city, bustling with ceremonial and political life. The scale suggests it was once a key power center in the region during the classic Maya era. The lost city in Mexico was actually hidden in plain sight. This ancient metropolis wasn't buried deep in a remote jungle. In fact, it sits just a 15-minute walk from a major highway. People have unknowingly passed by it for decades, even centuries. The city was so well hidden under trees, vines, and earth that no one noticed. It's a powerful reminder that some of humanity's greatest secrets may be hiding in places we least expect. The ancient city Valeriana reveals architectural marvels that reflect Maya ingenuity. Among Valeriana's ruins are architectural elements known as E-groups, special arrangements of pyramids and platforms used by the Maya for astronomical observations. These structures were aligned with solar events like the equinoxes and hint that the city may date as far back as 150 AD. This means Valeriana wasn't just a city, it was a place of cosmic alignment, built by people who studied the stars as closely as they studied the Earth. How many people really lived in the ancient city beneath the jungles in Mexico? How many people lived in the hidden city of Valeriana? Experts estimate that at its peak between 750 and 850 AD, Valeriana may have been home to as many as 50,000 people. That's comparable to the population of a modern mid-sized city. And just like today's cities, Valeriana had neighborhoods, religious centers, sports arenas, and possibly even administrative buildings. It paints a picture of a complex and organized society humming with daily life. The ancient city Valeriana reveals advanced water collection methods for the time. One of the most impressive finds in the lost city of Valeriana was a massive reservoir. The Maya were brilliant engineers. In a region where rainfall is seasonal, managing water was key to survival. The reservoir at Valeriana was likely used to store water for drinking, agriculture, and possibly religious rituals. It's a clear sign that this was a highly advanced city that understood how to thrive in a challenging environment. What was found in the lost city of Valeriana that could explain how the Maya spent their time? Valeriana had public plazas for gatherings, temples for ceremonies, and even a ball court where a ritual game with deep spiritual meaning was played. These features suggest that Valeriana wasn't just a political hub. It was a cultural heartland where art, religion and society came together in deeply meaningful ways. Valeriana is a testament to Maya civilization's complexity. Valeriana's discovery is more than a headline. It's a game changer. It shows that the Maya were far more widespread, urbanized and organized than we once thought. With technology like LiDAR, we're now seeing a fuller picture of their world, one city at a time. And Valeriana? It's a striking reminder that there's still so much left to uncover about the incredible civilizations that came before us.